Hello guys, welcome back in Damn Hold Hill, by the way, and I'm getting in signs of this is this is on you. Um Damn it old hill. Um why does it always fall to the Lokis in Odin's people? Why? Um I've been trying this and trying this. The very first time I did it, I had it right, and then something went wrong, and then I didn't have it at all. Um, Cliff Notes version. One person saw it. It's okay. I'm aware the community tab is broken. I kind of sort of broke my promise and announced something on the community tab last night. I just didn't think of making a video because I was so, so nervous, and my heart was pounding out of my chest, and oh... Odin had told me he was dropping his patronage and go scat, go find a new patron. Go scat! He's trained me well enough that he immediately went off and did it. And um, I was getting indications of interest. And I, I did the whole thing. I got off the silver service, well, the pewter service. And I carved a candle and I had to take it from someone else. And they were like, fine, if it can get you a patron and you know get you God to take care of you, a special care. Sure, go go ahead and do it. And I don't know if the ones that were indicating interest were just having fun with me, and I don't think they would have done it in a mean way, but uh, I don't know. And I did the runes, and I got Lagoos reversed, and then I got Dagoz, and Dagoz was about a dream, but it was also about, sure, you're in a time of transition, and I think Lagoos reverse was like, you're not letting this flow. Well, as I'm doing this ritual, now, doing all this courting, I get signs from other gods. I talked about this on Patreon that why am I not courting them? They want to be the one. And I look at Loki and said, would four patrons be a good idea? And he's like, because oh. they have to understand. I told them, Loki comes with. And last night I said, you know, I want Loki and I want Odin. And here's my list of Norse gods. <laughs> Absolutely, positively, without a doubt, have to be allowed to come and go. And I, for sure, I wouldn't work with a patron that would start setting up roles, but I'm used to the old man. So I'm like, this is a, the, these are absolutely essential gods that have to be able to come through. And I said, I know you're going to let anyone through, but this is my list of must-haves. These are non-negotiable. You can't say now that you work with me. You can't work with X, Y, or Z. I, I, I dealt with the old man too long, and I'm like, this is non-negotiable. Pound the table. And... You know, I had a dream, because Degas has to do with dreams, too, and I, it was the highlight of the last couple of days, to be sure, of a dog. First, it's a, um English bulldog, and it's looking up lovingly. And it's both in a trailer and it's in a grand home, uh, simultaneously, and it's both a English bulldog and it's an Irish setter, but it, it feels like it's meant to mean, like, wealth people of money and it's getting a pair of easter bunny ears put on it like big old long white ears and it, it's both a man doing it and a woman doing it but i can't see them or anything and that was my answer that was my answer from who's to be the patron but i'd gone on pinterest and everything went all kitty wampus and it felt like 40 gods were falling out of the sky and the same thing on youtube and i said the problem is like Every European god has the same, same roster of animals and that to pick with. And I, it, it sounds very um, vainglorious, but I said, look, if it's you, I want this. If it's you, I want that. I said, I know this sounds very presumptuous, but I said, you know, I can't tell them apart sometimes because, you know, just from Odin and say Odin and Thor alone, they both have bears. I said, who would I know who the bear is? But also Veles has bears and also a couple other gods. And I said, see, we're running into a problem. All the European gods are actually going to use European animals, which are also here. So I said, you're going to have to really make it clear. I'm going to need a couple of signs. I said, this sounds presumptuous, but I said, I am a court in you to be the new patron. I get up this morning and I go to, I like the stuff and I'm still going to court. And, and I turn on the news to get more update because I thought, well, you know, someone should at least take out five minutes and go do the morning, right? And I turn on CNN 
And they're interviewing someone that survived the latest shooting because there was eight and now there's ten and two different incidents. And the guy tells the guy very gently, well, you know, you you sh you just went in for chips. He starts off with saying, you know, his comfort foods are chips and soda and his trainer and everything tells him he shouldn't do that, but he still does it. He goes, so I understand you just, this guy just went in the store for a bag of chips and damn it all to hell. And I started a ball and I realized, you know, this is great fun going all this court and then everything, but you know, maybe it's the Odin's person and me, maybe it's something else, an influence from the God that's coming. But I said, I know this could make you incredibly angry. I said, I know you shouldn't take a gift back that you've given to God and you shouldn't change horses in midstream and all those other good common sense things. But I said, never before have witches had this kind of thing to deal with. Sure, we've gone through war and we've gone through tragedy and we've gone through COVID, but I said, never before has have witches just had things dramatically change day to day or if they did they didn't pass down the secrets of well you know yes you were doing this court and ritual and you should complete the ritual but damn it all to hell people died and you just don't have extra supplies on hand and so i said i i know it can make you incredibly angry but if they're a patron worth having anyways they should understand that being a human damn it all to hell 18 people in what a week's time and then the poor woman in the UK and all the other people that we just don't even know about and all these protests and damn it all to hell and I said someone should do something for that I said a candle might not be much incense might not be much and you know but what else do we really have to offer at least I don't and I said, I get it if you're offended. And I get it if you want to drop your interest in patronage. And I get it if you're even mad at me and want to take a swat at me. But I said, you know, so be it. Someone should stand up for the dead. Someone should stand up for the victims. God, I sound like Odin. And I hate getting chairs back there. And I said, you know, they deserve to be remembered. And I really wanted to make a music video for you guys and leave it at that, but people have indicated that, you know, they they like me to be on camera for some strange reason, that it's more comforting or more they can touch base with that more than they can touch with other stuff. And I get that seeing another human being in times like this is comforting, but, you know, the introvert in me just wanted to run the hell away and give you a music video and call it a day, but... Um, you know, our our ancestors, even modern day ancestors, really haven't passed this down of, well, here's what you do if you're in the middle of a ritual and a mass shooting happens. I'd say you go by your instincts. And I'd say any patron that would be angry for me to mourn people is not a patron worth serving. Odin's already indicated that if they are offended and angry, he'll, he'll take me back, that this isn't the way it's supposed to be, that I was supposed to move on. This should be a transition time. But but if I'm stubborn as hell and going to do the right thing, he supposes he can watch over me a little longer. And, you know, if gods you offend them, they could take months, years, they could never work with you again. And I'm like, I don't care. We have to do the right thing. You know, it's it's just not right to go ahead for me to go ahead and grab at some pretties or whatever I thought I was going to get out of this and, you know, not mourn people. And Odin's like, well, at least you're doing the right thing. And he's he, he's been suggesting pokes with Gunnar could come all wrong. And I tried this a bunch of times, and I kept failing. And then I went on Pinterest, and the scroll, the scroll of artistic something something is wondering why you're not creating art. I'll create art. And I'm like, okay, old man, scrolls, I get it. So, and, you know, he, he's been giving me pokes to do the right thing. So that's the story of how I went to courting but changed it from courting to mourning and you know damn it all to hell this year's not fair and I was really afraid to make the video because the old timers always said bad things come in three let us hope we've had our three let us hope we've had our three let's hope that's a, a silly stupid saying and it's not true and you know the gods are always with us the gods are always with us and you know just just be safe out there guys I don't know what I'm going to do today. Part of me wants to go for a walk and just sit on my jangle nerves. Part of me is like, it feels like there's craziness everywhere and I don't want to leave my home. And I don't know. I'll figure out something. But, you know, you guys take care of one another and just take care of yourselves. 
If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. We're not going to monetize this one given the nature of the subject matter. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.